The countdown is on to the 43rd Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. Now, traffic is always a big concern during the festival as hundreds of thousands of people pour into the metro area. But this year, there will be another factor adding to the traffic hassle, the Paseo I-25 construction project. As News 13's Kayla Ayers reports, Balloon Fiesta officials are already warning visitors all about it. In just two months, all eyes will be on the colorful hot air balloon soaring high overhead. But there's an issue down on the ground. Balloon Fiesta officials are already giving Fiesta goers a heads up about. Traffic is always a concern. The most recent Balloon Fiesta newsletter addresses the Paseo del Norte I-25 construction project and possible traffic woes. We want to make sure that our visitors are very much aware of what's happening with the Paseo interchange uh, because we have a lot of folks who just come in once a year uh, to enjoy the balloons and we want to make sure that they're up to date. Several aspects of the project are supposed to be done by Balloon Fiesta, including improvements between Alameda and Jefferson and a flyover ramp from I-25 North to Paseo Westbound. Balloon Fiesta officials don't expect construction will have major negative impacts on the event. We've had uh, continuing and uh, very fluid conversations and updates with the team uh, working on the Paseo interchange. However, reps with the New Mexico Department of Transportation say the active monsoon season has slowed construction some. They also say they recognize Balloon Fiesta's huge economic impact on the state and plan to have as much open during the festival as possible to allow for maximum traffic flow. For now, we'll just have to wait and see. We uh, you know, ask people to make sure that they get to Balloon Fiesta a little bit early, but let's see how far along we are the closer we get to the event. Kayla Ayers, KRQE News 13. A major work on the I-25 Paseo construction project started just two days after last year's Balloon Fiesta. The State Transportation Department says the contractor still aims to complete the project by December.